Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, back again with another YouTube video here where I talk about the craziest things that I read about on the internet. So today on Inside Edition, I saw a video where apparently an ex-boyfriend, or I should say a boyfriend scammed his girlfriend out of $71,000. That's right, I'm not even making this up. So basically what happened was is that, you know, uh, <clears throat> apparently this couple, or let's be honest, this relationship wasn't an actual relationship, okay, to begin with, just because <clears throat> I'm just going to tell you people this. If you are on a dating app or a website and you match with somebody, and let's just say this person automatically starts asking you or hounding you for money, that's when you know that this entire thing is not a relationship, but a big, massive scam, okay? And obviously, I feel like stories like this should be shown on a dating <coughs> a website or dating app intros, because you know how it's like sometimes whenever you join or you sign up to do Uber or Lyft for a living, or you sign up to do Uber or Lyft to earn some side money, and you know how, for example, when Whenever you sign up to join Lyft, they always show you this a safety video before joining, before you know you are accepted into the app as a driver. Well, this is what they should also do for dating apps like Tinder or Bumble or any dating website so that people know they are not being scammed because this, this is, in my opinion, the best way to let people know when a relationship, when something uh, is actually a relationship or when you know what you perceive to be a relationship isn't actually a relationship. In other words, like I said, if somebody automatically starts asking you for money, then that's when you should know that should be the first red flag that this isn't an actual relationship, but just a basically a, <clears throat> a complete scam. Okay, so that's that. And uh, like I said, I think that uh, if they would start introducing like, uh, you know, uh, these types of videos into like, because, uh, you know, because basically what I'm trying to say here is that before you join Bumble or Tinder, for example, they should have like these two or three minute introductionary videos where basically they warn people about uh, the types of scams and deceptive practices that are used on those apps because you know a big percentage of uh, people there's a good uh, <clears throat> percentage of people out there that basically use the, you know tinder or bumble or these dating apps to take advantage of very naive people so yeah that's why i would say they should use <clears throat> this type of story in in any you know dating app intro you know as part of their uh as part of their series on basically warning people about you know when they are being scammed so yeah um <clears throat> basically all i have to say is uh, i hope that the uh i I hope that the uh, the ex girlfriend manages to recover her seventy one thousand dollars because this is a really messed up story and I thought I had to talk about this because you know it's just uh, if there is one thing that I cannot stand is being you know conned or scammed out of your hard earned money seriously that's one thing that I just cannot for the life of me uh, stand you know when people just try and uh, scam you out of your hard earned money like that is just really just such a messed up thing to do.